Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your February reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, in this reading, we're going to go over the energy between you and your lover throughout February, okay? I just want to remind you guys I will not be doing personal readings in February, so just make sure you check out the website before you send anything. That'll tell you what's going on with me if I am doing emergencies and whatnot, okay? So the first card that's fell out is the Strength card, okay? This is also the Leo card, a Leo card in the deck, all right? So for some of you, you're going to need some perseverance or strength to get through the month, okay? You have the Seven of Cups in the past, so in the past, there was some confusion about what you want or some confusion about what your partner wants, okay? Someone has maybe more than one option, or they just don't know which way to take the connection. That was the past energy. The Four of Wands, someone that you're dealing with or yourself is releasing a marriage, okay? <clears throat> Could be walking away from a marriage because this is what's being released here, the Four of Wands. Some of you could just be releasing a relationship or someone you have the potential to be married to. Show me an outcome card for Capricorn, please. An outcome card for Capricorn, please. Alright, so we've got three cards coming out. Um, I really wanted one, but I'm going to... I'm going to, the King of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So for some of you, it could be a water sign um, that you're gaining some clarity about. I'm going to keep shuffling until I get one, though. Because it's just more specific that way. Or I might just have to pull for one. Show me Capricorn's outcome card. So some of you could be going towards a water sign or releasing a water sign. So we have the Emperor in the future. So this could also be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius coming up in the future. Some of you are headed towards a conflict because of marriage. Okay. Um, some of you are dealing with an Aries energy. They're coming up in your future. So if you're dealing with an Aries that you may have just like thought you were done with, they're coming up um, very strongly. And they're coming up almost in a conflict energy so you may be in some sort of conflict with this Aries or it's just that they're not giving up on you even though you've decided to move away why is the strength card here for Capricorn it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius or it could be a Taurus seven of wands so someone has their guard up or someone is blocked okay um the knight of cups is at the bottom of the deck so i feel as though whoever this fire sign or this person in the future is um either you want to offer love to this person or they want to offer love to you but someone has their guard up or someone may actually even be blocked like communication wise maybe there was some type of conflict or you capricorn yourself got tired of not knowing which way this connection was going or this person got tired of that okay and therefore there was someone who got blocked or that's maybe why someone's defenses is up here okay so the Emperor card kind of gives me the vibe that something is not able to move forward in February. Let's see, why is the Emperor here? It could be because of pride and conflict, simply because of that. All right. See, we have the Nine of Swords. So whatever the situation is, I think that's, yeah, uh, Nine of Swords and the Emperor and also the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this lack of forward movement doesn't make you or your partner happy, okay? No one's, like, good in this situation, okay? Um, it's almost like some of you may miss an opportunity with someone or someone may miss an opportunity with you, possibly from being too defensive and being too stubborn, too prideful to admit feelings, too prideful to say I'm sorry, that type of thing. If you aren't talking to someone already going into February, that may continue going through the month. Okay, Capricorn, if you are dealing with an Aries, they are having a hard time not talking to you. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're having a hard time not talking to you. Okay, um, I feel as though the Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo, they are a bit more okay with not talking to you. The Aries person, if you're dealing with an Aries person, they're having a hard time with not talking to you. Okay, 
So I feel as though if there's an opportunity that's missed um, this month and it's due to pride, conflict, whatever that is, um, it's going to be very hard for you and your partner. It's not going to be an easy thing here, especially if you're married to someone. Let's see, how is Capricorn's partner feeling about them throughout the month of February? Hermit, so your partner it could be a Virgo or they're just very um, closed off to you. Okay, the Herbit card. Again, I feel it's because someone is either really prideful to come back around. There may be financial problems for your partner Capricorn or you, okay, that is making this beginning hard to manifest, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, the Hermit card tells me they're like not, they're either not talking to you or they're just withdrawn from you, Capricorn. All right, show me Capricorn's feelings justice card so your feelings is the justice card so capricorn you could be initiating divorce with someone it could be a virgo aries leo okay whatever the or water sign since water sign didn't come out but i eventually wind up putting them back in the deck okay your partner could be going through a divorce as well okay um because like i said the four of wands is here so someone's releasing a marriage so this could mean that your partner is getting divorced um or going through a divorce and maybe that's why they're having a hard time in February as well okay for some of you maybe there was a divorce needed on someone's part and that's why the relationship wasn't moving forward in the future okay or if this is not the situation they could be a Libra okay you could be dealing with a Libra energy or the parts the person that you're dealing with feels justified in their position where you know if they're not if you guys aren't speaking or if you guys had some sort of conflict or some sort of issue they feel like they are um justified okay so they're not going to maybe come forward and reconcile this emperor energy is like stagnation here okay it is a four energy it's talking about something that needs to move forward okay either through someone like a five which is conflict expression okay because sometimes conflict well all the time most of the time conflict breeds breeds tr uh change so someone could be avoiding conflict with someone but there may be not saying that you need to be toxic but there may need to be a, a discussion that may not be the easiest to have okay so it looks like it's i want to say it's not i want to say it's a tough month but it's definitely a defensive month for you capricorn with the seven of wands and the strength card you're sta you're sticking to your ground on something you're refusing to budge, okay? You're also refusing to um, come forward maybe with how you feel or a Leo or an Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, water sign. Maybe they're doing the same thing here. It's basically like both parties have drawn a line in the sand and they're like, you know, not backing down and you're not backing down either. You could be defending yourself from this person. You could be feeling that way, okay? So let's see, isolation, okay? So we have the isolation card um, and we have the hermit energy here already. So this is telling me again, there's gonna be some time apart away from your partner. Some of you are married and you're separated from your partner, okay? I don't feel like that's gonna change throughout February, okay? complacency is also at the bottom of the deck so someone's complacency is the issue here as well it could be you capricorn who's complacent not really trying to offer love to someone that you feel have feelings for or it's your partner that's doing this okay um so isolation and complacency are an issue this month in february for you okay it may be too much strength card and hermit too much holding back how we feel here because the nine of swords is here so it's not a good feeling no one's benefiting from this uh, uh, stalemate energy I'm surprised the hangman didn't show up okay so you guys are kind of like not backing down and neither is this person I'm not saying who's right but someone has to eventually cave or come in, come together y'all might need a damn honey jar somebody might need a damn honey jar or one of these damn candles over here get get your love back on track because it's not that you don't have feelings for this for this person you both have feelings for each other it's just stubbornness here or um, again someone needs to get a divorce um <clears throat> someone needs to get their finances in order but i feel like if finances are a problem the finances are a problem because someone's reluctant to change okay i very i very faintly feel the financial aspect so i don't feel like that's a big problem right now i feel like pride and 
maybe past conflicts are an issue here. Some of you, this person this is just a person you're not meant to be with, okay? If you were married to this person specifically, you may feel you need to divorce this person because they weren't, it, it just wasn't a, a good relationship to begin with, okay? All right, let's get one card. Three just came out. So let's get an Oracle card for Capricorn. I feel like open and honest conversation would be very helpful this month but i don't know if you're dealing with a very strong energy like yourself so they're very stubborn whoever this person is that you're dealing with okay past life relationship you have known each other before so someone that you're dealing with is a soulmate energy okay whatever one of those signs i named or whatever sign you're dealing with you're dealing with a soulmate in some capacity um, you have the retreat card as well so maybe this isn't a month that's best served for feelings maybe there's need a need for clarity before you move forward in this relationship okay someone needs to figure out how they're going to move forward especially if there was past issues like conflicts in the past because again you're I feel, I'm sure you feel righteous you know in your stance with the seven of wands and the strength card and them showing up as the justice card they feel right in their stance or they feel like if they have done something to you you in the past capricorn they've atoned enough to the point where they don't need to um apologize anymore or deal with that energy okay so this it could be a karmic partner or a twin flame okay so it could be something that you are sent here to work on okay both of you could this could be a test you know um so uh, we'll definitely be doing some end of no end of february readings i'll also be doing some soulmate um guidance on those readings oh, those will be on vimeo and what else was i going to say um i'll do, be doing mercury retrograde because mercury goes retrograde in march okay so check out those videos you might be able to gain some more clarity this is early symptoms of retrograde here so um <clears throat> Hopefully, since you aren't talking to this person or you're at a stalemate energy with this person, maybe during the retrograde it'll be different. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, Capricorn. Remember that I am not doing personals throughout February, um, so be conscious of that, and I will see you in March. Bye. Oh, yeah, and happy birthday to the Capricorns who recently had their birthdays.